Hi, I'm Larry from Olala Advertising. I'm going to present now how to manage your subscriber inside a mailing list. It means import subscribers and export subscribers. This is uh, extremely important because you send emails to these subscribers and to input manually a few thousand or more hundreds of thousands of subscribers into your into your system uh, is just painful so the system it's doing this in a very automated way go to your system i'm going to olala on a bis connection how to get into admin area just write on top vp admin or you can write login Press enter, input your email address and, uh, and password, and you will be into something similar with this, exactly like this. So to be able to manage subscribers inside the newsletter, very first you must click on a newsletter. Let's suppose you have already created mailing list and you know what exactly means to have a mailing list, like this one. I'm into this area to show you this is the mailing list I'm going to import subscriber from external file. As you see, number of subscribers into this mailing list is one. How I can import subscribers? I'm on a Mac. On an Apple, you just open uh, Excel. In the Mac, I open the numbers. It's similar. I create a file and into this file, as you see, I have email address, first name and last name. First name and last name are not compulsory. Email address is compulsory. You can have a website as well. As many field you have created into your mail list into this area. So I'm going to on a mailing list. And you see into this area I have email address that is compulsory. But if I'm going to the same to mailing list and I click on a edit mailing list, I may have first name, last name, website, company. We'll talk in another section how we can create and manage this custom field. We are talking about importing at this point. Click again on a newsletter, go back to the my spreadsheet. So into this one, I have first name, last name. It's not relevant the order. For example, I can have the first name and the last name. I can have an empty column in the, in the middle. It's totally not relevant. But to be able and to make sure that initially all will work good, I'm going to leave no space in between your columns. And into this area, you have many, many email address. I'm going to create another one. You can write them or you can copy paste from another system or you just can export from, for example, into the Outlook. If you are using Outlook or if you are using a mailing, you export in a CSV file. At that point, that CSV file, actually, it's a, you can open with a, with a Excel or numbers. Yeah. And this one has no name and, and let's say this one has only only first name. Sorry, uh, first name is here. Okay. As you see into this spreadsheet, you buy email address, you get email address. Uh, I have an email address which is not quite in the format of email address. As you see, it's a info.olal.com.au is not info at. I leave it as it is with a meaning to see that this email actually will not be imported. Sorry about this one. Okay, so this is my spreadsheet. This is your spreadsheet with as many email as you want in this format. I'm going to export this file. You cannot see this area on your screen now, but the point is, I'm going to export this mailing list in a CSV export to in a CSV format. 
and export. Now I'm going to open that CSV with a document to see how it looks like. Here it is. This is my file exported. In case you have many other something here, for example, like this, just to make sure that you do not annoy the system, just delete them. In case you have on top uh, name of the field, just delete. So your CSV file, to avoid any, any, any other issue, your CSV file must be a file with elements comma separated. So I have comma email address comma uh, first name comma last name and so on. Oh. This is an old generation CSV file is not is not initially the, the last name and that file under that after that first name but this is not 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 relevant at all. The most important is that file must be with elements and these elements like email address, first name, last name, website must be separated but comma. This is a very clean. Now, what is the number of the field into this spreadsheet? As you see, I have nothing comma. It means before comma, it's field number one. After first comma, it's field number two. After the second comma is field number three, after the four comma is field number four, and so on. So I have to know that email address is in field number. If your number is number two, first name is number three, and four name, uh, last name is, is number four. If you cannot keep in mind, just put this one apart, leave it open, because we will need when we are going to import. Now, I'm going to import the, this email address list from this CSV file into the system. So I'm going to import export. Import, section import on top, browse file, CSV, preferably comma delimited value, exactly what I have, browse. This is my file, me list CSV. Is comma separated. If I if I choose to be separate the, the fields with another, put it double column, whatever. In my case, I have comma. Now, where I wish I wish to import all these emails? Into this one. I can import in multiple mailing list. Don't do this because at that point, if you send email to this and to this, a person who is assigned to two mail or four mail list will receive that email twice three times, four times. So just keep everything clear, clean. One subscribers assigned to one mailing list to avoid sending him multiple emails when you send the newsletter. What kind of CSV it is? This is a CSV spreadsheet. It's not a, I can import, fr uh, import from, from a MAC address book without exporting. I give an example with spreadsheet because this is the most common. And however, anything you may have as a list of emails, you export them into, into XLS, into, into, into this uh, spreadsheet format. And after that, from this one, you see what is there, you check everything, export in a CSV file and import into the system. It's just working 100%. Now, what I wish to import? Import mailing list, email address. In which column? If you remember, I just opened this one, the email address is in column. So before the comma is one, second information after first comma is number two. So it's column number two. First name is column number three. And last name is column number four. Even if a, you do a mistake and you put email address in the wrong place, the system will just ignore and tell you that zero emails were imported. If you import first name 
replace with the last name, no way to fix the problem except just select all the people you import, delete them and import again. So just be pay attention when you import the list. It's not hard, it's, it's working perfect. So I tell what is the file, I tell what is the delimiter in, delimiter in the file, in which mailing list I'm going to import and what field I wish to import and click import subscribers. And here it is my result. Two subscribers were successfully imported. Why two? Because I have three. Because this one that has an email address, which is not a normal email address, so does not respect the standard of an email address, so it's dot replace this one. This one was not imported. So even if you have a mistake into the email address, wrong email address will not be imported. No, now let's check the, the mailing list. I'm going to the mailing list where I imported ML1, ML space one, and I see I have three active subscribers. Edit. So this is my mailing list. I create in a previous uh, tutorial. Go back and click on the name of the mailing list to see subscribers from this mailing list. These are subscribers, this one and these two. And if I click on an edit of the first one, I see the first name was imported, the second name was imported. So this is the way you import a mailing list. Now let's export a mailing list again. So you have into the system, you organize your email address, you find out sending emails, which people are interested, open that email address. You make a group of all these people, a mailing list, special mailing list, valid, and you want to have on your computer to because I want to, to keep like a history or because you want to contact them in another way. However, you want to get all this information from the BIS connection on your very own computer at home. Okay, at that point, you just go to the export section and say, I want to export these subscribers. And I want to export all subscribers, only active, or only inactive subscribers. Inactive are that subscriber who unsubscribe for email list. And just click on export. And tell me three subscribers successfully exported. And as well, appear a link here, download exported subscribers in a CSV on your computer. Click on this one. And I ask where I'm going to save the file. I'm going to save it on a, on a, put on a desktop and I'm going to give a name. It's automatically subscriber and the date. Okay, leave it as it is. Click on it. And I'm going to open now. And open with. I'm going to open with, uh, with the numbers. It's opening. These are my subscribers. ID is just for the system, email address, first name, last name. And with this one, you can do whatever you wish. I'm not going to, I'm going to delete it. It's from a cloud and go back to mailing list. So Raf, this is all about managing in an automate mode subscribers inside a mailing list. Thank you very much.